Welcome to lesson two in the PopFizz Roblox course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about something called solid modeling. And this is the first of two lessons. Um, solid modeling uh, is just a fancy name for making your own models. We're going to take the basic shapes that Roblox gives us, the blocks, the spheres, the cylinders, and we're going to combine them to make uh, more complex models. Okay, and so the first lesson today will have to do with adding models together. And uh, tomorrow's lesson, or the next lesson after this, lesson three, will have to do with subtracting pieces in order to get models. We're going to learn how to cut holes in that lesson. Okay, so let's get started. So again, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the demo for this and uh, just kind of have a look and see what it is that we're going to be building today. So um, let me switch over to that. Okay. And so you can see in this demo, let me turn off that. Okay. We have a few pieces here. Let me get a better view. Okay. So these are the built in parts that come with Roblox Studio. You have your block, your cylinder, your wedge, your sphere. And uh, those are the basic parts that come in. Now, what we're going to build today are combinations of these. We're going to add them together to make, um, you can see here, to make a stair. We're going to make a star that looks like this, um, a cross. And then at the end, we'll make a snowman. And we can use this as a model in our games, in our obby. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and close this demo. And we can go over to Roblox Studio. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up a new project. So go ahead and again, click new, go to all templates and just click base plate. Okay, here we go. So let me, let me see. Let, let's go ahead and delete the base plate again. We don't want uh, the floor in this one. So click on, click on workspace right here, expand it, and then click on base plate. And again, there's a bunch of ways, a bunch of different ways to delete this. You can right click and press delete. And that gets rid of the base plate. Now I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to move my camera so that I am kind of in this position. We want to we want to we want to be seen Let me see. Yeah, that, that's about right. So we want to be seen um, the edge off the edge of our of our um, spawn location when we create these parts. Okay, so first part that we're going to create is the stair. And so what we need is a block to start off. So we're going to go ahead and create click block here. Okay. And uh, remember we are in, let me highlight this for you. We are in the home menu and we are going to insert a part using this button here. Okay. So we've added a part and we can go ahead and um, move it. Let's move it to where it's um, next to our spawn location. Okay. And the other thing we want to do is we want to change the size. So let me move this away a little bit. And you can use the scale button to, to do this, but I find that it's easier to use the properties window. So I'm going to undo, I'm going to hit control Z. And I find that it's easier to change the size of my parts just using the properties window. So over here in the properties window, you want to scroll down until you see size and let me let me go ahead and highlight that for you so right here you see a size property and it gives you three numbers and if you click on this little arrowhead next to size it will expand it and you can change any of these um, any of the sizes X Y or Z and if you want to know what X Y and Z are you can look, let me, let me move my piece so you can see it a little better. Right here in the, um, in the view selector, you can see Z is this blue axis. And you can also, 
let me turn on mo the move button so you can see this a little better so the blue axis is Z okay so if I change the Z number in size it's going to change along that along that direction so I'm gonna make it a four just so you can see this I'm gonna hit enter and it gets wider along the direction of the blue arrows okay same thing with the red arrows the red arrows let me turn this around the red arrows are X you can see that they are the X direction so I can let me let me change the view here I can change the size along X I'm gonna make that 20 oh and um, now it's longer that way and I'm gonna move it away a little bit there that's good okay so I'm gonna leave the uh, thickness at two which is along Y and again you can see that here in the in the view selector Y is up or you can see it that the green arrows are going up and down so changing that to two it was a one let me show you again so it was a one and then I changed it to a two for the size along Y okay so now we have our first part here let me change my camera I had to move it a bit uh, right there is good uh, yeah right there is good move it a little bit away okay and now we want to change the color so remember there's a bunch of different ways to change the color on this you can use the color button and I'm gonna make this a nice purple and also don't forget to anchor your piece so that it stays in the air okay so we've made the first piece in our stair and what we want to do now is we want to use duplicate in order to make the other parts so let me let me move my camera so you can see this a little better that's good okay so we're gonna use duplicate and remember we have collisions on right here with the little blue check mark that way it'll any copies that we make will be placed on top of our of our piece so now if I hit duplicate it puts another piece exactly like the bottom one on top and we're gonna change the size so this one's gonna be um, let's make this six no 14 to 4 so I made this one 14 to 4 and then I changed the color make that one yellow and now I'm gonna I'm gonna click off of this you can see that now we have two parts and one is slightly shorter than the other and that's what we want we want to repeat this so that we have a stair so I'm gonna click on the top part and I'm going to duplicate it again and change the size this time I'm gonna change the size to um, let's make it eight to four okay and then I'm gonna change the color again make this one a green okay I'm gonna do it one more time so I'm gonna make one more copy and I'm going to change the size on this one to two two four. I think is a good uh, yeah that'll work two two four. And then I'm going to change the color. Make this one a blue. Okay. So now what we have? Let me move the camera. Now we have a stair. Okay. But what we can do is we can combine all of these pieces together into one model. And here's how you do that. So again, we want to select all of these pieces. So you can um, you can press the left mouse button and then drag a window so that you are selecting all four of these. And you can see here in the Explorer window that I've selected four parts. Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way you can do it is you can um, click in the Explorer window and then hold Control and click on the other parts. And that's another way to choose multiple parts. You can also do that here in the game window. So if I click one of these and then I hold control while I click the other ones, it selects all four of them. Okay. So I'm going to select all four of these pieces. And what we do now, because we want to turn this into one model, is we go over here to the group button. Let me highlight that. It's right here in the in the home menu okay so we're in the home menu and there's this group button right here okay and we're gonna press that and when we press it here's what happens our four pieces are combined 
into one piece, one model, and it's changed. It's changed the name to model. Okay. Now this is good, but we want to rename this. We want to rename this to something other than model. And so there's two ways to do it. You can right click and press rename and then call it stare. That's one way to rename. The other way is there's actually a name property right here in the properties window. And you can also rename your part there. Okay. And so now we have a part that we can, um, that we can reuse, right? So let, let's say that you wanted to use this part in other games, right? How would you do that? How would you save it so that we wouldn't have to recreate this every time we make a new game? Well, Roblox actually lets us save models to uh, something called a toolbox. And so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to save this to our, our toolbox. So what you do is you right click on the part, the new one, stare, right click, and then go down to um, save to Roblox. Okay, so again, right click on stare and go to save to Roblox and go ahead and press that. Now, if you press that, it's going to let you um, save this. So I'm going to just keep the same name. I'm going to call it stare. And here's one, most of this stuff you can ignore, but one thing that you, you have to decide is if you want other people to be able to use your models. So if you press allow copying, other people are going to be able to uh, see your model in the toolbox and they're going to be able to use it. Okay. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and hit submit and it's going to show you this successfully submitted and it's in the toolbox. Okay. So I'm going to close this. And now if we want to see where our stair is, we need to go to the toolbox and here is the toolbox button again in the home menu. Okay. So I'm going to press that. And um, there's a bunch of options here. Up at the top, there's Marketplace. And then right next to it, there's Inventory. And you want to go to Inventory. Okay. And um, these are some of the models that I've already made. Um, but here, I think this is the one. I think, let me see. Let me click on this little plus. 110. Oh, no, that's the old one. So this one must be the new one. Yeah, this is the new one. Okay. So this is the, the model that I just saved. And so if I want to use it in a game, all I have to do is click with the left mouse button and hold and then drag it into position. So it actually put it right there on top of my other one. Um, and now I can move it. And I can use this model in any of my games. So I can always just open the toolbox, go to inventory, and it's under my models. You might have other things that you create eventually, but right now it's under my models. And then you just click on it and it will make another one for you. Um, if you click on it, it, it will put it somewhere that it wants to. And you'll just have to move it over once you find it. Um, but you can also click and drag it over into the game. Uh, let me just position this. Okay. So now I have a bunch of of stairs and let me put these in position then I'll test it make sure it works oh uh, I think this one's too I think this let me move my camera I think this one's actually yeah sometimes you have to use different camera views in order to make sure that everything is where it needs to be let me just um, let me just position these one more okay that looks good Okay, let me test this and make sure that it works. I'm going to close my toolbox and hit play. And it works. Okay, so I have a stair that I can climb up. And let me turn the camera around and you can see it works. We have three stairs that I placed in here. And it's good. You can fall off again. <laughs> okay. So um, we've made our first piece. We saved it to the toolbox so we can reuse it in any of our games. And we learned how to combine pieces 
into one model and then rename it so that we can um, just have everything more organized. Okay, so we're gonna make other pieces, but that's the end of this video. And in the next video, we'll make, um, we'll probably go ahead and make the star. So uh, I'll see you then.